Okay. Whoops. Ink and Marky Pool. I bet clogged it. Um. Skriv i kommentarfältet om vad säger Kron du vill att det ska laga om. Eller du. Jag menar det var det var. Skriv, ja, vi har visst sånt sånne bra nok. Jeg trenger hjelp med å finne på navn. Skriv ja hvis dere likte det. Han er kanskje mer enn Reinhardt. Okay, I'll talk about it. I don't know that. Those muscles. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. This time I got the flash craft on. Approach, my child. And choose where your new life shall begin. Mm. 
Okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. Which of standard? Which property do you own? So be it. Enjoy your new home wherever it may be. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your um, hands only. Okay. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Um. Let's go. So long tara gang like no one now. God damn it. I skulle bli den kanskje gitt, men samme det. Øksa er min. Hey. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Need something? Hvor er jeg? Hvor er det ord? Øhm. Øhm. Jeg er jo langt ut i bort. Ja, ja. Klart jeg har så mange sanger. Jeg bor i en bord. Så... Jeg skal gjøre det her en artig. Så... Player dot... Moda... Health... Tusen... Nei, en million er nok. Jeg tror dere synes det er dumt at de jukser.
Ska vi se om jag tar full damage. Det är för sent. Jag kan gå och sätta tillbaka. Jag vill bara få dra till bandit någon först. Det var badass. Okej, magik har stammen av jag har höjt, men uh, health kan jag sätta på 1000. Uh, för nöjd. Ska vi se. Ja, jag tar bara en annan load. Uh, system, load. John Bendaini. Får nöjd där. Sån. Nu var det gick som i hälften länge. Rotten blir vis. Ska vi se. Uh, nej. Men. Det här må jag ha för det. Jag gillar inte att bli sliten och sånt. Approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin. The simple life of a farmer can be its own reward. Men det jag också har lust till att göra är att i kvart så vill jag göra så att det blir bättre i smitting, hvis det är grejt. Så att det blir bättre i svärd och sneaking. Och så sätta ner levelen min. Hörs det bra ut? Nu har jag vurdert faktiskt nog att söka efter efter gårdsmods. Det var lite kul. Skriv ja om jag ska lasta ner den gårdsmod. I've been looking for you. A letter. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Där vill ha. That was just lying around. Good find. Det var min ox. Och så han hade en good find. Och vad är BQ? Quick save. Uh, quit main menu. Mods. Han är kutt om jag. Först, jag vill bara checka hur många viewers jag har. Ha? Ja, ja, bra nok. Feeding cows. 
såklart räcker. Um, då. Kolla på den. Det är fint säkert ut. Det har nok faktisk litt lang tid å raste ned. Det var dumt. Kom igjen, spill. Ikke krasj. Ok. Skal vi prøve? Jeg kommer sikkert til å bli det da. Oi, nå stagger jeg faktisk. Ok, 
I don't have an unlock. Yeah. I have an unlock. What is this? Skruv jag om skulle gå för uh, heavy weapon. Heavy armor och heavy weapon. So that's gonna go light. The exhaust I got have you open. I just gonna go muggy. Is the altar to go muggy? Okay, light open. I let heavy. I let archery, long range. Kommer du tillbaka? Okej, okay, light.
This time I will fight the third person. Oi. Whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. What do you mean? I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Keep your hands to yourself. What do you need? Okay. Got all the muscle. Okay.
<laughs> Need something? something for just about everyone in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Welcome to War Maidens. Take a look. Serious, send me the game. Business with you. There's some higher level boots. Boots. So I'm going with Margie, Captain. Got arms and armor of all kinds. listening. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. We've got small weapon. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. She died. My aunt and uncle. 
people took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. Really? Do you... Do you have a place I could live? Oh, well... <laughs> thanks anyway, uh, I suppose. Uh, 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 it again yeah. come on now yeah. watch the footwork keep your balance hey watch it yeah. oh right what are you waiting for yeah. look at the young one scrap I haven't seen your face before. I'm watching you. So you think, who knows? Maybe he's in a generous mood. All right then. Okay. Could uh, um... <laughs> I reckon she'd uh, end up drunk first, man. Some other. A stranger come, would you now? Here, let me have a look at you. Mm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master, Wilkes. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your vasker for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. But perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us Take to seek their fame. John ben Daini. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arm. Of course. How are you in battle, boy? Mm. That may be so. This is Vilkas. He will test your arm. Hmm. Vilkas, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. Aye.
Ah voilà. J'avais les cumulus au complet. Top de Batman. Det blir sikkert glad for. Og nå kan jeg se hvor mange som ser på alt sånn. Endelig. Streamer, jeg kommer sikkert til å bli banna fra YouTube. Kommer Jack Zetek i sin kanal og det her. Copyright. Kommer du å starte på nytt? Ok, du bestemmer hvor mange farger jeg skal ta. Sånn. Check him. Get it open. On it. Hey, you can 
Frankie's gonna show, bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Oh. Keep doing this. Well, no, I, I have things. to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city. <laughs> they need something to fear. Hey, why can't you do this? Shit! Go! Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Agora é que eu pego. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come at! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Fast pace. Shift. Uh. Okay, they're on us. Oh, 
Start, I'll hot start. Didn't your mother Ooh. teach you to knock? <laughs> Behind you, big boy. <laughs> Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid oh. of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Okay. Bring it, Bat. <sighs> that trouble for this shit a myth can't be killed you however are flesh and blood oh god damn it I said don't shoot no wait <sighs> Um... 
Bro, a lot of them get egg in their cut on. By the way, I'm in. Okay. I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake. Or yours. Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. <laughs> oh, who's the art of them? Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family yeah. legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stuff. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease. They're the wheels, and they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public? This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. 
Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller, Bob. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, my name isn't important. What is important is Mr. Dent's campaign. Like now, it or not, the Wayne name carries weight in Gotham. I understand. I just don't want to throw it around. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Huh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've... You've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Uh -oh. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. 
I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. A word of warning, Bruce? Then they can run. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Well, Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? Dead night. And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. Well, I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. Ooh. Ooh. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Ooh. Or I can pull it out from under him. Nay. Like you nay. Whatever Are happened you? to being a gracious host. Okay, imagine no, 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 no. this is me. And these are all my friends. I'm drop a Harvey. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, uh -oh. docks, unions, politicians. Skip Yaum. Let's go to Spiller, Harvey, and And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Uh, you? Not for long. Uh, you? Bruce here? Uh? Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's you advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Uh oh.
Ja, skriv. Ja, i kommentarfältet också om vi vill att jag ska spela färdig hela episoden. It's me. I'm going to watch the end here for the new minutes. Oh, our secret spilt the end. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entry incidents up 40 percent over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. <laughs> Seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. Yeah, well, this is the only room that really matters. Well, then you won't mind if I skip cleaning the rest. The dusting is murder. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Okay. Je vais ça ça pour faire ça et dans le point mais voilà là c'est moi et ça c'est le cas. Et tu m'as joué un minute. Jeg har noe jeg må gjøre, så jeg gir tilbake om sånn 10-15 minutter. Det er det.
I get your bucket. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Founder. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. It's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but... His behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will.
Where are you, Oz? You, but no Oz. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. You heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This Oz don't concern you, twerp. Do you see? That's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh. ruining the moment. Come here! Think that'll do? Stay down! This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Och jag har försökt klara stå i eh, Robacken. <laughs> oh, hey Bruce, you've got a little. Eh, uh... yeah, good as new. Woo, that was a right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Oh, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. The least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Glad they never saw it like this. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, <sighs> this city chews right through people. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. 
Sorry, mate. Up this reunion got a lot more grim than our plan. Yeah. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. Did it do? When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents Broke. loved Gotham. They invested their blood sweat and tears in this city <sighs> you know when I was uh, nine years old my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask it was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice no matter the cost that night my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne, and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. There you go. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, we won't fail those who need us most.
All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going mm -hmm. back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Oh, Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you different. telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Uh-oh. Come on, pull me. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's chopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. Oh. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Thank you, bro. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, 
It's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here... Instantly makes you look bad. I get it. So let me say it for you. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. They have cool. no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Ooh, ooh. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? Not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it.
You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around yeah. Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Meet anyone interesting? Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, oh, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. Maybe it's time to find a new job. I don't need career advice from you, Mr. Wayne. Not all of us were born with trust funds and multi-billion dollar corporations. Hey, hey, go easy on Bruce. It's not his fault he was born rich and good looking. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. to meet the real you. Don't say anything. Please. Hmm. We'll see. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor. The toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is <sighs> our secret. And here I was, thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. <sighs> you have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed, and I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. 
He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Nothing left to bury. Um. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it but the chemicals themselves were inert not explosive well it appears to have made a pretty big boom i'll see what i can piece back together i've seen these outfits before same mercs that broke into city hall Hmm. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. Oh, shit. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. <sighs> Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. like a bullet started this a normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion doesn't appear normal the point of entry is melted the scrap of metal is from the exploding canister but I need to know what caused the explosion the 
This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Good. No. That bad? Oof. Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skyline Club. shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Something was here when the explosion occurred. That it all. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Yes. 
Coney leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Hey, give it up. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. He would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Trace of phosphorus, though. point we have a winner Kommer det plaster allt det där? Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? stops here then he should be nearby found him time to go to work <laughs> my turn don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. <laughs> It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Whatever it takes to make you talk. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. I ain't scared of you, man. If you're gonna hit me, hit! Tell me! That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container! Someone must have heard us! 
called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Now <laughs> Connie wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals are some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Balcony said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear, I swear. I mean, I... You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance too. What the hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? That man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. Look, I did what, what you had to. But at what cost? We both know how this argument goes. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Okay, I'm going to start the stream there. It was Arte and stream. Okay. Jag har spelat in någon video eller streamat på fler månader. Så det är fint att vara tillbaka.